and welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan and today I'm going to show you my monthly grocery shopping. I have eight kids, seven still live at home and we work from home and homeschool from home. So we do a lot of eating at home. Almost all of our eating is done at home. Um, I have a $1,200 a month grocery budget and it has been really tough to stay in that lately. I try to feed our kids pretty healthy. I eat 99% Trim Healthy Mama. And um, overall, I just try to eat as healthy as we can. Lots of fruit and veggies. And I do go to the store and buy those each week. Fresh fruit and veggie. So you won't see a ton of that in this haul because um, I just got fresh fruit and veggies on Monday. So I still have quite a bit. Um, you'll see some food prep videos coming up, so be sure to subscribe, and that way you don't miss any of my videos. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. I'm going to go to Sam's. Actually, I already went to Sam's. And then I'm going to do a Walmart pickup, and that'll be the only two grocery stores I plan to do anything big from. I also go to Kroger and get a very few things from there that I can't pick up anywhere else for as cheap as I can get in there, and it's on the way. It's not out of the way or anything, so that's why I go ahead and get everything I need there. Let me show you what we got at Sam's. Tonight, it is a Wednesday night at 8.56 at night, and I'm just now getting home. It's been a busy day. Let me show you what we picked up. So, I did not need to get near as much this month as I did um, last month. So, you'll notice that there's not quite as much here from Sam's as there normally is, but I did pick up some good deals. I got two packs of these hot dogs. These are really yummy, and we usually have them for lunches and occasional grill outs. I got eight pounds of this sharp cheddar cheese that we shred up, and then I got four pounds of this seriously sharp. That's mine and my daughter's favorite. We got some lemon juice. We got turkey and pepperoni. I got two pounds of Italian sausage. That stuff is so good. I got it for the first time last month to do in spaghetti or something like that, and they did, and it was so yummy. Huge hit. If you watched my grocery haul last month, then you know that I got a crazy amount of butter, and we still have a ton left. But I will say that I didn't want to run out again, so I just decided to get back what we used up, which is 12 pounds of butter in a month. We home make all of our bread, cookies, stuff like that here, so we use a lot of butter. I got some heavy cream and half and half. I can't get a bunch of this stuff at one time because, well, I only have a small refrigerator, and it only holds so much. I got some egg whites. I got this as a super special treat for my kids. My neighbor has had this in her fridge and every time I go over there, I see it and I just want it. So we got our own so that we can have it and that'll be an amazing snack tomorrow. I got these croissants for the kids for breakfast tomorrow. We love these and um, this would be a super special treat for them. I got two bunches of bananas because you can never have too many bananas. This is Phoenix. Okay, we got baby wipes. These are actually for my daughter. I don't have any kids in diapers anymore, but I do pick up stuff for her occasionally at Sam's. Let's see, I got these two chuck roasts, so I'm pretty excited about these. We love these, especially with potatoes and carrots in the crock pot. Not only is it delicious, but it's so easy. Such an easy meal. We got some ribs. This is almost nine pounds of ribs, and they were $2.98 a pound. My mother-in-law sent us um, a butcher box last month and she sent us some ribs in it and it was amazing like oh my goodness my children loved it I loved it and so I wanted to get some more because that was just really good I got 20 pounds of this 90 10 ground beef I go ahead and scramble 10 entire pounds of it normally I'll do it right now but if I can fit this in the fridge I'll wait till in the morning if not I'll go ahead and do it tonight and then I get another 10 pounds and I divide this up into four meals so that we can have things like hamburgers and any other um, meals like that, poor man steak, stuff like that, beef stroganoff, stuff like that. So I go ahead and have this. And so that is why I get 20 pounds of ground beef. I got 20 pounds last month and I had about three pounds left over. So we have tacos every Tuesday and we have this for that too. Okay, so every time I come home from the grocery store, I go ahead and scramble up 10 pounds of ground beef. That might be extreme for most families, but if you have um, some ground beef meals planned that month, ground beef freezes beautifully. So you just go ahead and cook it up, bag it up, and put it in the freezer. And that works wonderfully. Um, if you put it on like a medium heat, then you don't have to stay like right on top of it. You can just kind of put a lid on it, let it cook for like five minutes, and then come back and stir it, etc., etc., until it's almost done. 
We have five meals ready to go. I'm just gonna wrap these up and stick them in the freezer. I got a watermelon. We got some paper plates. We don't use paper plates often, but when we have company over, I do like to have paper plates. So I got those, parchment paper. I got these extreme wellness tortillas. These are mostly for me and my husband, although the kids are totally allowed to have them if they want them. These are really good. If you are on a health journey of your own, I highly recommend these for taste. Okay, these are the ones the kids love. So um, I got these for them. We got some gold potatoes last month. I got their Idaho potatoes there and the whole bag almost was rotten. So I didn't get those again because inside the bag looked a little moist again. Also got a bag of lemons. My husband likes to have lemon water in the morning. So I got him those. Parmesan cheese went for the easy again this month of shredding it instead of the, the ones that I need to shred. So yeah, did that again. We got these carrots. Some gum for the kids. I let the kids chew gum while they're doing school. I'm not a huge fan of gum around my house. I have so many little ones. Gum gets in places that I don't like, but this is real life and some of my kids love gum. I got two things of coffee and that is everything I got. Let me see how much I spent because I already forgot. It was a lot, more than I wanted to. My mom, how much do you think I spent? Put it down in the comments below right now. Pause it and do it. Okay. The total that I spent was $486.99. A few things to say about that. So I always spend between four and like $800 a month at Sam's in my monthly grocery haul. However, I will say some things that have noticeably gone up is the butter. It used to be $10 for four packs. Now it's $15 for four packs. The egg whites used to be $10 for that box. Now it's $15 for the box. The tortillas went up, the potatoes went up, the coffee. Coffee used to be like $7.98 or $8.98, and now it's $13. The Folgers was even more than that. Um, so that's why I got Maxwell House this time. Same thing happened last month. The Folgers was like $4 more than it normally is, and the Maxwell House was only like $2 more. So we're going to become a Maxwell House family if that keeps up. The cheese, definitely more expensive. Not the Cabot one. Um, that one's actually way cheaper there than Walmart. I have the Walmart app on my phone and I highly recommend if you shop at Sam's and Walmart that you do that and that way you can go and you can just compare prices while you're running through Sam's because not everything there is a better deal. Some things are a much better deal at Walmart and so I highly recommend you compare the prices. Anyway, so let me stop talking about that and show you what I got in my Walmart haul. All right, we just got our Walmart order. It is so tiny seriously um we didn't need a lot and it feels good so i got some contact solution i've never used this kind but my other kind i wasn't super happy with it anymore and so i wanted to try a different one i've been using great value brand and it worked great and it's like half this price so i'll let you know if this is worth it we got three dozen eggs some peanut butter more peanut butter we got four cans of diced tomatoes and five cans of rotel on nights that i don't have fresh tomatoes i just pop open this rotel for taco night and we have that a lot i ordered three boxes of this but some of them were out of stock i use this in a drink called good girl moonshine i think i have that link below but I love this. It's flavoring for your water and it's sugar free, mostly. Has a tiny bit of sugar in it, but not much. There you go. And then I got some sprouted grain bread. This is for emergencies. And um, this is the kind of bread that I, I almost always make homemade bread, but occasionally I don't. And I like to have bread in the freezer just in case. I got my son some deodorant. We got flossers for the kids. I'm pretty sure. I ordered three of these. Maybe they didn't have it, so that's okay. I got four things of popcorn. My kids love popcorn. We have it a lot, multiple, multiple times a week. So it's a great snack and it's super cheap. Used to be a lot cheaper, but that's okay. It's still pretty good price. Two bags of frozen strawberries for smoothies. I needed mouthwash, as you can tell. I read that you can refill these, and I used to love these little things, so hopefully this will work, and I'll be able to refill these so that I don't have to pay so much for them in the future. I'll let you know. Okay, I got vanilla yogurt, Greek yogurt, sour cream, light laughing cow. I have about a half of one of these left, so it looks like I go through about one and a half in a month, so we'll see if that works out. I only got one thing of almond milk because I didn't have room in my fridge. That's why I did not, <clears throat> excuse me, that's why I didn't pick it up from Sam's. I got two things of Keeper. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this on the counter and double ferment it so that it'll be even better for me. And then I needed some sandwich bags. I meant to order the gallon, but you know what? It's okay. We'll use them eventually. And that is everything that we got. Now my daughter Ruthie wants to give you her garden haul. So this is what we've got so far from our garden. These are banana peppers. So these are okra. Can you believe there's red okra? Mm -hmm. And then we have a crap ton of green beans. Okay, don't say crap ton, okay? okay. We have a lot. Okay. <laughs> you love it? Yes. All right. And our soda pop is being refilled. We also had to get 12 boxes of taco shells. We eat three boxes every week on Taco Tuesday.